a woman as beautiful as she was deadly. Maria Osic led an amazing life and changed the course of world history forever. If what we know today is true, she was instrumental in unleashing the most destructive war in human history. My name is Marit Sander, and it was my goal to find out whether Maria Osic was a woman with remarkable spiritual power, an adventuress with rampant imagination, or a ruthless tool for the Nazi regime, whether she was a beauty or a beast. Never in history has science progressed with such giant leaps as in the early 20th century Germany. Never before have occult societies blossomed in such profusion. And never in history has one regime based its whole existence, its philosophy and its science on the occult. And yet, in less than two decades since the end of the Great War, Germany had entered atomic and space age. Why were the Nazi scientists so successful? Is it true that their fringe teams experimented with anti-gravity, exotic propulsion systems and cold fusion and that they actually won the race for the atomic bomb? Hermann Orbert, one of the founding fathers of rocketry and astronautics, who was later employed by NASA, has confessed, we were helped by people from other worlds. Another German in the United States, Willy Ley, was the first to shed light on German occult societies, such as the Thule Society, which included amongst its members the future Nazi leaders Himmler, Hess, and probably even Hitler. The Thule Society had a special branch for female mediums, employing remote viewing and other spiritual techniques to obtain information from other galaxies and dimensions. This group was led by a woman called Maria Orsic, who reportedly received messages from another galaxy, from those who had once engineered the human race. Her mysterious drawings launched the search for new energy forms and resulted in experiments to manipulate gravity, space and time. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of internet sites where the name of Maria Orsic can be encountered. And yet, the most important questions remain unanswered. Where did her visions come from and where did they lead her? Was she behind the rise of Germany or its ultimate fall? Did she, in fact, exist? My book is an attempt to recount what really happened or might have happened. The Goddess of the Devil is an epic journey of one woman from beauty into a beast or... Vice versa.